so real quick before you did that did Um, mm -hmm. And your your origin story, like how did you get into? Is that he? Uh, he made an age joke the last time we were. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that kuka. Yeah, one hundred percent. You know, the more people you talk to, the more leads you're going to get, the better leads they're going to be. I will hopefully the better leads. Uh, this is what I've noticed, though, is, is the numbers that you're saying, I think they have to have some sort of um, distress. OK, so, for instance, the code violations, the ta tax liens, whatever, they have to be a good distress at that moment. OK. And with, so I just want to add, add to so, that. Is so, yeah. That, so if I, if I might, if I might touch onto that, so yeah. by reaching out, what you're looking for initially, when you're reaching out to people is you're reaching out and you're looking for someone to raise their hand and say, Hey, I'm open to selling. Yep. Okay. Out of 40 to 50 people who raise their hand and say, I'm open to selling yep. only about four to seven of them are actually going to be distressed. Yeah. Okay. So, so what you're doing is you're reaching out for about 50. You're trying to get 50 leads out yeah. of that. Only four to seven of them are actually going to be a distressed or like really needing to sell for some reason or another. Right. Or just, just sick and tired of what's going on. Right. Where they're like, you know what? I don't want to sell to a realtor. I just, I want to sell you this property. It's been a little bit of a headache. If you can make it easy for me, I'll sell it to you. Right? Exactly. Yep. Only four to seven of them are going to be around that range. And out of those four to seven, you'll get a deal. Okay. All right. So that's kind of what that looks like. And this is one of the things that uh, if you've heard people talk about like PPC marketing, yeah. one of the th reasons why people really like PPC marketing, if you can really dial it in is out of about four leads, you have one of those. Right, you have one of yeah. those. So out of four of them, so now you talk to four people and one of them is stressed rather than talking to 50, and two of them or three of them or four, right? Yeah. Like the numbers are much smaller and it just comes directly to you rather than you having a cold call or text message yeah. to deal with a lot of the, the hate talk, right? That we have to go through. Yeah. And so that's one of the reasons a lot of those people like that, Randy, is because it just, it cuts through it, but yeah you need to spend the money. Exactly, and that's actually eventually where I'm going to go. Um, so actually one of the guys that I really uh, admire and respect who does a lot of PPC is actually Philip Blake. I've had him on the show, um, you know him as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and he does really well with PPC. Uh, so uh, that is one thing that I wanna get into, but I need a healthy budget for that. Yeah. So, um, PPC, uh, somebody asked, what is PPC? Uh, Christina PPC is pay per click. Okay. So pay per click is PPC means every time somebody clicks the button of your ad, you pay a fee. Okay. Now, not everybody who clicks the button is going to submit a form. Keep mm -hmm. that in mind. All right. So that's why your cost to whatever form you get, it can, it can rise. It, it just depends. It's also in the beginning, it's a huge learning curve and you're going to be spending a lot of money learning that in the beginning. And unless you get some sort of mentorship about that. Correct. So, uh, yeah, I, so the, and, I, and I highly then, recommend a mentorship for that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and a lot of the PVC it's, it's really Google ads. Um, it's when you yep. Google search something, and those ads come up, it's your ad being up there. Um, and then people, essentially your ad following people around the internet, right? Um, and so that way you can get more leads. That's that's what that looks like. It, it's not just a learning curve too on how to set it up, which it absolutely yeah. is. I, I yeah. know guys who paid $20,000 just to have their Google ads set up by somebody. Yeah. Um, but it's not just the setup, it's actually no. Google, 
takes a minute to learn your account and who to look for. And so what you'll find is when you do PPC, you do not want to turn it off because it takes a 90 to 100 day, 120 day learning curve just for Google to tailor it yep. to the people. Even if all of your keywords are right, even if all your ads, are, even if it's 100% copied of a field blank. If I was to just take his system, copy it, put it into a brand new, it wouldn't <laughs> produce like his. No, it wouldn't. Because the algorithm is learning. And so yeah. whenever you go into PPC, you need to be able to commit um, for three months to four months just for the learning aspect. That doesn't mean yeah. you're not going to get any leads, but your cost per lead is going to be significantly higher. And yeah. then it's gradually going to creep down and it actually you win over the long term. When you're six months, eight months, a year and a half in, that's when you really start winning, but you've got to be able to play for the long term when you get into the PPC. If you're looking just for a deal right now that you can turn yeah. on and off, PPC is not your PPC yeah. is not your game. Your game is gonna be texting, cold cold calling, reaching out to other wholesalers, um, yeah. helping people negotiate deals, like getting on the phone and doing the grunt work is where you're gonna really and and that's where and you know i hate to bring it I, it's not just google everybody thinks okay yes it's it's google but you also think of social media too facebook ads how many how many people do you see on there you know you want to do you have a distressed house or do you have a hoarder house do you know anybody so on and so forth um you know any other type of social media I, uh, you know, anything that somebody can click on an ad and I, uh, and they can fill out a form to contact you yep. is basically pay per click. Yes. So not just Google, but Google, Bing, all the search engines, all the social medias, all of it. Okay. Yep. So, and each one has its own learning curve too, just like that. All right. Google is not like Bing. And nope. Bing is not like Facebook ads and TikTok ads and this and that and you know YouTube ads as well, you know uh, all of that. So it's so, a huge learning curve. So here's what I here's what I recommend people do. If you guys are out there and you're like, okay, what should, what is my daily action plan? What do I need to do? To yep. get you? Okay. Um, if you're doing text messages. You want to send out 18,000 text messages to get a deal. Okay. So okay. think, think of this batch leads allows you to send a thousand a day. Mm -hmm. So one deal, if you send out 18,000 text messages, one a day for 18 days, you should have a deal. Okay. Right. Assuming your list is even reasonably okay. Mm -hmm. 18,000 text messages. You want to talk to on the phone. You want to talk to 10 homeowners a day and 50 a week. You want to then do 120 driving for dollars uh, leads a week around your neighborhood mm -hmm. per week and do the system I said earlier. Go back and listen to it. Okay. Yep. Two direct mail pieces, call everybody once a week. You can even do a third one. Number three is I want you to connect with two new wholesalers through Facebook per day, or excuse me, uh, per week until you've mm -hmm. created three solid connections. Okay, three solid connections. And, and honestly, you should probably keep doing it. But once you create three solid connections, not only are you looking to do deals, but you're looking to bolster your resolve in this business, right? Someone yep. that you guys can win and be on the journey together, right? Um, that, when I first started finding those couple people, um, I, had, I had a guy I did two deals with, but I met with him for like two years. He became a really good friend of mine. And we used to just get coffee. He worked at a car dealership. We used to get coffee after I went full time, right across the street from his car dealership, even into my partnership. Um, and it was just an opportunity for me to learn sales, for me to connect with him, for us to encourage one another, for him to do some stuff for me. And eventually that guy came to work for me. Okay. <laughs> that job, he came to work for me as an acquisition coordinator because he wanted to get in and we were great friends, right? And, right. and so that's just one example, but there's lots of different things for you guys to encourage each other, get together and really pump up. And then um, 
two more things. You want to call a realtor a day, just one. Just connect with a realtor, have a mm -hmm. conversation, and then comp five properties. Just pull up five leads on Zillow, five properties that are for sale. Um, if you have the money to go get uh, privy, get privy, start looking at them and comp deals. Start getting used to looking at what numbers are because you need to understand what are the skills that I need? And one of those is being able to analyze a property's value. So you want to start looking at properties. And if you do that every single day, you're going to get a deal. You're going yeah. to get a deal. But the challenge is who's going to do it every day? Or are you going to fall short? And then you're going to complain. You're going to say this stuff doesn't work. And then you're going to blame it on watching Randy and watching me and talking to people. <laughs> but the truth is you got to do the work. That's why I like to say this is the easiest hard thing you will ever do yes because to stay consistent is powerful if it takes you if it takes you five months to send out eighteen thousand text messages you'll do a deal in five months yep if you, if you send out eighteen thousand text messages this month you'll do a deal this month right so it's in terms to how much you actually <laughs> work and you put in the work towards these things that generate leads mm -hmm. And I got a little secret to help people get for their second deal and their third and going forward. A lot of people, what they happen when the first deal is they start, they get this deal and they're starting to go through the process. Well, when you have a deal, sometimes it doesn't take, uh, it's not overnight. Okay. You got to go through this process. You got to go through the title company. You got to go do, so it takes time. Well, during that time, what are you doing? All right. You're not just, a lot of people, what they do is they just drop everything off to the side and okay, let's concentrate on this deal and let's, let's get it done. No, this is what you do. You can, you, you take your 20 minutes a day, half hour a day, whatever it may take you to get through that stuff. And then you concentrate on, and the money's in this, the follow-ups. All those people that said yes, that raised their hand, I wanna sell, but they're not sure, guess what you do? You follow up with them the next week or yep. the next day, however long you, you want to, okay? However long the conversation that you had with them feels. I had one person that like, I've been following up with this lady every single week for like four months, okay? Now she's ready for me to come out there for an appointment and take pictures. And, and literally I don't sit there and when I call her, I, I don't sit there and say, hey, I'm calling about your property on blah, blah, blah. No, I call her like a friend. Hey, Patty, how you doing? How was your weekend? Now, this is Randy, by the way. Oh, hey, Randy, how's it? The, the house is the first, furthest thing we talk about. Yep. You know, I talk about it towards the end. I'm like, hey, are you ready for that? You know, you ready for me to come out there? Oh, no, I got this. You know, I got that. I got that. Okay, sure. I, it doesn't make sense for me to follow back up next Monday. Sure, you know, okay, I, I think I can do that, you know, and no problem. Yeah, you know, well, and, and another quick tip on that when someone says, Hey, I'm thinking about selling in a year, whatever that time frame is, yes. right? If it's a year, three months, whatever, cut it in half. <laughs> yes. So if they say a year, call them back in six months. If they say six months, call them back in three. If they say three months, call them back in a month and a half. If they say call me in two weeks, call them in a week. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to be the guy who misses the boat because you waited too long. Oh yeah. Right. So always call them like cut that in half. If you cut that in half, that'll be a strong, uh, way of, of moving forward and being able to do that. Um, Ron Hall <laughs> even said three years is his personal best. I, my God, we, we're, we're, we're in presence of royalty over here. Ron Wall even. I honestly, three years, personal best. That's great. I'm doing a deal right now that I'm almost, I was almost there. I'm like two, a little bit over two years right now that we're closing tomorrow. Thank God. So, you know, um, you know, God willing, it closes. So, yep, <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, with, with that, the money is in the follow-ups period. You know, we've had this deal sold and then unsold many times and some because of the seller, some because of the buyer, so it, 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 it's ridiculous. So, so. One of the things that you're, you're talking about too, Randy, I think is, is so powerful with what you said is 
what happens is people will get that first deal and then they'll stop doing the activity. Exactly. Well, I, I want you guys to think about this for a second. So if it took me two weeks to generate, or let's say it took you a month, okay, to yep. generate this, right, through your activity, and then you stop, and let's say it takes a month to close that deal, okay? Mm -hmm. So now you're two months from, you know, maybe let's say you got in two weeks, you're six weeks away from your last contract, but you stopped the activity to get the deal, it closes, and now you got to do the activity again for another, you've actually gone two months without the activity to generate a deal. And so you go from one deal and then it takes you another two months to get a deal. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room.